Many people think that there isn't much difference between a male dog and a female dog. But believe it or not, there are some surprising differences between both sexes that we will look into in this video. Male dogs have a strong preference for women. Dogs may be known as man's best friend, but they sure have a strong preference for women. In 1986, researchers conducted an experiment with a sample of 20 dogs. They found that while female dogs were only a little reluctant to approach and make contact with strangers of either gender, male dogs were very reluctant to approach and make body contact with unfamiliar men. Animal behaviorists believe men can be more intimidating in a dog's eyes. Men are often bigger and taller than women, have deeper voices, and may have different types of features, such as facial hair. From a dog's perspective, these things might be scary. Dogs get along better with the opposite sex Anecdotal evidence and research suggest that most dogs tend to get along better with a dog of the opposite sex. Issues with dominance and natural survival instincts for raising a family may all play into why this may be true. So, if you're adding a second dog to your family, you may want to consider creating that balance for a more peaceful household. Male dogs have a wanderlust Male dogs often have a more independent nature. They have an active sex drive, which means they are more likely to wander or roam for miles around to find females in heat. They are also more likely to get into a conflict with other male dogs due to competition for territory and mates. Male dogs also tend to be more dominant. They have an innate urge to dominate other dogs. And while both male and female dogs mark with urine, it's more commonly seen in male dogs. Urine marking is a natural canine behavior, where dogs release small amounts of urine in various locations to mark their territory. They also leave urine marks as a way of attracting mates. Male dogs that have not been neutered are even more likely to mark with urine than dogs that have been fixed. One study, published in the Journal of Animal Behavior, showed that high-status dogs marked territory more often than lower-status dogs. So, perhaps your dog is simply king of the neighborhood. Male dogs have shorter lives Studies have shown that female dogs live slightly longer than male dogs, but the biggest factor for life expectancy is whether the dogs have been spayed or neutered. Studies have found that spayed female dogs live 26% longer than intact females. Male dogs that have been neutered also live longer than male dogs who are intact. This is because neutering or spaying prevents reproductive diseases, such as uterine cancer or testicular cancer. Unaltered pets are also more likely to roam dangerously in search of a mate. This can increase the risk of getting hit by a car, catching diseases, and getting into aggressive fights with other dogs, which can lead to a shorter lifespan. Male dogs bite more often A recent study on dog aggression found that male dogs were six times as likely to bite compared to female dogs, and intact male dogs were more likely to bite than neutered male dogs. In another study with 20 different breeds, investigators found that male dogs generally showed more aggression toward both other dogs and human strangers. But it is important to remember that a dog's aggression is not as black and white as that. A lot more comes into play. Other factors such as upbringing are the main determiners of a dog's temperament. More often than not, dogs will resort to biting when they feel threatened or abused. Their behaviors change when they are in heat. Unlike male dogs, unspayed female dogs will go into heat twice a year. During this cycle, a female dog will experience stress and anxiety. They will also produce a bloody discharge, which attracts male dogs for breeding. A female dog in heat is more likely to escape to find males. She is following her instinct to breed. You'll see her act more flirty with males, inviting male dogs by turning her rear toward them and holding the tail high and out of the way. And when a female dog is in heat, she is also more likely to urinate and leave a scent mark to let the opposite sex know that she is available. Spaying stops female dogs not only from experiencing bloody discharge, but also from dealing with jittery and stressed out heat patterns. Male dogs don't make good fathers Mother dogs tend to be protective and nurturing, but male dogs don't have quite the same fatherly instincts. In fact, father dogs most often display a general disinterest in their puppies, and they don't tend to get involved in the raising of the babies. Interestingly enough, dogs' paternal instincts don't match those of wolves. 
Father wolves are considered to be great parents. They're also loyal and loving partners. The male gray wolf will bring food for his mate after she gives birth. Father wolves are also very protective of their pups and they help feed and play with their pups. Female dogs are more likely to be right pawed. Believe it or not, most dogs have a dominant paw. Scientists have found that dogs show a marked preference for the left or right front paw when it comes to reaching for food, walking downstairs, or retrieving toys. One study showed that most dogs are right-handed, and female dogs are even more likely to be right-handed than male dogs. Both male and female dogs hump. Humping is a natural and normal behavior for both male and female dogs, though it often occurs most frequently in unneutered male dogs. Dogs hump for many reasons that aren't sexual. Humping can occur when dogs are overexcited, such as during play. It's a way for the dog to burn off excess energy. Dogs also hump other dogs and people to display social status or express dominance. Sometimes, humping is a sign that the dog is seeking attention or trying to relieve some stress. The biggest dog ever lived was male. In general, male dogs tend to be larger than female dogs both in height and weight. Male dogs often have bigger chests, bigger heads, and heavier bones because of testosterone, which is the primary male sex hormone. On that note, a male Great Dane named Zeus was named the world's tallest dog by Guinness World Records. It stands at 3 feet 5.18 inches. Guinness also cited Zorba as the world's heaviest dog. Zorba was a male English Mastiff who weighed 343 pounds. Male dogs are harder to get adopted. Multiple studies conducted on animal shelter data have found that male dogs had a longer stay in animal shelters than female dogs. Male dogs spend on average 6.6 .6 months until they get adopted, whereas female dogs spend 5.5 months. This bias for dogs is not so much related to the preference of the adopters, but rather to the number of males entering the shelters. Males have a tendency to escape when there is a female in heat, and some males never make it back to their home and so end up in the care of a shelter. The oldest dog ever lived was female. Bluey was an Australian cattle dog who died at the age of 29 years and 5 months. She was the oldest dog ever recorded. She had a very active life working with sheep and cattle, which may have contributed to her longevity. Bluey passed away in 1939. A litter of puppies can have multiple fathers. Dogs can have between 1 and 12 puppies in a litter, and puppies in a single litter can have multiple fathers. As you can imagine, if a female dog interacts with multiple males during her fertile days, her eggs can be fertilized by more than one male dog. The ability to produce a litter of puppies fathered by more than one dog is known as superfecundation. Interestingly enough, superfecundation also happens in other animals such as cats and horses. Although very rare, it can also happen in humans in multiple pregnancies. They are often named Max and Bella. A recent report based on the database records from Nationwide Pet Insurance found that the most popular male and female dog names in 2021 were Max and Bella. Male dogs have a nose for love. Male dogs have a biological imperative to procreate, and this drive tends to supersede most other drives. You may notice your canine's strong desire to sniff everything in sight during walks. Using their noses, dogs can smell another dog's urine and learn a lot about that dog, including gender, age, and fertility. A dog's urine contains a great deal of information about that particular dog. This is critical data for a dog looking to make more puppies.